Mawakili wake Pastor Ezekiel Odero wa kanisa la New Life International Church ya Panchini ambao ni Danistan Omari pamoja na Cliff Ombeta wasusia mkutano wake Rais William Samoei Ruto mkutano ambao ulikuwa unalenga ni kuweza ku, kuweza kuunda sheria ambazo zitakuwa zinaongoza makanisa hapa nchini pamoja na kuweza kuangalia jinsi ambavyo utumishi wa kanisa uliweza kuhusika katika sakata ambayo inahusiana na naye Paul Mackenzie Shaka Hola karibu hichi ndicho kituo chako nambari moja cha Kenyan Media ambacho sharti kiweza kukusogezea yale ambayo yanaendelea hapa nchini tafadhali kama kawaida na kuomba uweze kuchukua sekunde yako moja uweze kupiga subscription kisha uweze kubonyeza kengele na bila shaka utakuwa umejikatia tikiti ya moja kwa moja kuweza kupata updates zetu kuntu kabisa na nakurudishia ni shukurani ewe ambayo umeweza kupiga subscription na umeweza kurudi hapa hivi kuweza kupata updates zetu jina langu Mr. Ego 8. Ndasamaji mnamo siku ya Jumaine tarehe 13 Juni mwaka 2023. Mawakili wake Pastor Ezekiel Odero uh, wa kanisa la New Life International Church ambao ni Danistan Umari wakili matata kabisa hapa nchini wakishirikiana naye mwenzake ambaye anafahamika kama Cliff Mbeta waliweza kususia mkutano wake Rais William Samoei Ruto ambao aliweza kuteua kamati ya kuweza uh, ku, kuunda sheria ambazo zitakuja kugovern ama ku, kuongoza makanisa hapa nchini na kuweza kuangalia jinsi ambavyo makanisa ama utumishi wa kanisa uliweza uh, kuhusika ku, ku, ku upande wa shakaola ikiweza kuzingatiwa kwamba uh, pastor uh, Paul Mackenzie uh, kanisa lake liliweza kuchafulia makanisa hapa nchini jina kwa kuweza kuwaua wa Kenya na kuweza kuwazika katika msitu wa Shakahola. Bwana Danstan Umari e, pamoja naye Cliff Ombeta waliweza kutoka kwa mkutano baada ya kusema kwamba uh, ile task force samu kipenda kamati ambayo iliweza kuundwa naye Rais William Samoei Ruto ilikataa kabisa kusikia habari ambazo zinahusiana ama kusikia mawazo yake mtumishi u, u, mtumishi wa Mungu Pastor Ezekiel Odero kwa sababu wao walikuwa wanamuwakilisha jinsi ambavyo unaona hapo mpenzi mtazamaji tukiweza kusoma pamoja ili chapisho limeweza kutolewa na Tuko News liliweza kusema kwamba we attended as advocates representing Ezekiel considering that their mandate is to look at religion and in relation to Shakahola where members were giving their views I and Ombeta tried to present our views to no avail. The mode of presentation was to raise up our hands. We raised our hands from 9:30 a.m. to 2:30 p.m. but the chairman ignored us. Omari told Tuko News. Yaani wanasema kwamba waliweza kumwakilisha Pastor Ezekiel Odero katika mkutano ambao uliwe, ulikuwa unaongozwa naye mwenyekiti ambaye aliweza kuteuliwa naye Rais William Samoei Ruto na mkutano huo ulikuwa unaongozwa na waye uh, chairman ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Reverend Mutava Musimi ndiye alikuwa anaongoza mkutano huo kuweza kuangalia jinsi ambavyo uh, zile sheria ambazo zitakuja kuunda ama zitakuja ku govern kanisa zinaundwa na kuweza kuangalia jinsi ambavyo Uh, makanisa yaliweza kuhusika katika upande wa Shakaola ama yaliweza kuhusika katika ile sakata ambayo inaendelea upande wa Shakaola wanasema kwamba walijaribu kupeana mawazo yao ama mawazo yake mtumishi wa Mungu lakini walikuwa wanalengwa jinsi ambavyo unaona umeweza kusoma hapo wanasema kwamba walikuwa wananyosha mikono na jinsi ya kupitisha mawazo ilikuwa ni kunyosha mkono lakini waliweza kunyosha mkono tangia majira ya saa tatu na nusu asubuhi mpaka majira ya saa nane bila kuweza kupewa nafasi kusungumza inaonekana kwamba walikuwa wamesungumza wasije wakapea mtumishi wa Mungu Pastor Ezekiel Odero nafasi among uh, the over 200 people in the event they were individuals who were recording the proceedings using their phones it is pr- uh, pa- puzzling that the chairman did not see me when i was raising my hand to give my clients input but saw me when i removed my phone uh, to record and uh, stopped me 
e, Omari aliweza kusungumza. Yaani anasema kwamba yule chairman aliweza kulenga kabisa kipindi ambapo alikuwa ananyosha mkono apeane mawazo yake. Lakini chairman aliweza kumuona kipindi ambapo aliweza kutoa simu yake na kuendelea kurekodi kile ambacho kilikuwa kinaendelea kwa sababu alijua kwamba ni mawakili na uenda wakaweza kuongea mambo mengine yakakuja kutumiwa ha, mahakamani hivyo basi akaweza kumkataza mm, umeona mtazamaji hii kitu ni kama ilikuwa imepangwa naye Zakayo pamoja na task force yake he called me and told me to stop recording because he knows i'm representing a certain interest and he, he is not sure which forum the recording was going to be used i felt it was discrim discriminatory for him to bar us from recording and not taking our views too we walked out in protest of this protest and we are considering to see the court's intervention to ensure our client is not uh, is not discrim discriminated against it seems there is a scheme to avoid past Ezekiel's input. There is no rule that restricts us to represent anyone. We will seek stoppage of sittings until his views are given a space to Omari Aliweza Kutishia. Umeweza kuona mtazamaji? Omari aliweza kusema kwamba aliweza kumuita na kuweza kumkataza asija karekodi kwa sababu anajua kwamba yeye ni wakili na hakukuwa anajua uh, recording hii ambayo Omari alikuwa anafanya itakuja kutumika wapi mtazamaji na Omari akasema kwamba aliweza kuhisi ni vibaya sana kuweza kuwatenga wasije wakapeana mawazo ya mtumishi wa Mungu Pastor Ezekiel Odero ifo basi wakaweza kutoka nje wakaweza kususia mkutano huo wa Rais William Samoei Ruto na wakaweza kusema kwamba sasa hivi wanaelekea mahakamani eh, kuja akusimamisha uh, mikutano ya task force samu kipenda me, kamati ambayo iliweza kuteuliwa na Rais William Samoei Ruto kuweza kuunda sheria ambazo zitakuwa zinaongoza makanisa pamoja na kuweza kuangalia jinsi ambavyo kanisa iliweza kuhusika upande wa shaka hola na akaweza kusema kwamba sasa hivi ni vibaya sana kuweza kulenga mtumishi wa Mungu Pastor Ezekiel kwa sababu walikuwa wanamwakilisha hivyo basi wanaelekea mahakamani kuweza kusimamisha mikutano ya task force hiyo hadi kipindi ambapo uh, mawazo ya Pastor Ezekiel yataweza kusikilizwa je wazo lako ni lipi baada ya pasta Ezekiel ma, uh, mawazo yake kuweza kulengwa ukiweza kukumbuka kwamba ni makanisa yote kila mtu alikuwa anapewa ruhusa kuweza kuchangia lakini ilipofika kwa uh, kipindi cha mwakili wake pasta Ezekiel kuweza kusungumza wakaweza kulengwa umeona mtasamaji hawakuweza kupewa nafasi kuweza kusungumza lakini kipindi ambapo aliweza kutoa simu kunasa kanda jinsi ambavyo mambo yanaendelea wakaweza kusimamishwa je mawazo yako ni yepi sasa hivi ukiweza kuona wameweza kutishia kuelekea mahakamani kikao ni vizuri kabisa uweza kutoa mchango wako wa maoni na rejea na mingi zaidi jina langu nafahamika kama Mr. Egoit tafadhali zidi kupiga subscription na rejea na mengi zaidi